Hi there. So, in the Diploid TPS potato reveal, I said I was going to do a quick uh, video demonstrating the different flesh colors compared, and then I would cook the flesh color, cook the samples of the different potatoes, and show you what those potatoes look like cooked. And I actually took all of that footage right at the same time and then immediately deleted it. So I'm doing it over, even though I don't normally do reshoots. So just for reference, this is a slice of Yukon Gold, which is a very popular yellow flesh potato in uh, the United States and Canada. Um, and then the rest of these are all yellow flesh diploids of various... Uh, intensities. This is a diploid that I have had for two years now. Um, it's a very yellow fleshed uh, low dormancy diploid. This is um, my favorite diploid from this year. This is a, a Chauch Amarilla Larga. Um, it's not the most yellow, intensely yellow fleshed potato of that you're gonna it's probably going to be the least intensely yellow fleshed but I just like so many other things about this plant um, then this here is a yellow fleshed Criollo Rosada um, this is a and then we have three different yellow fleshed round burgundies I got some really good yellow flesh out of the round burgundies so let me just slice these and then we'll come right back okay ta-da so you can see this diploid is, I've had it for a couple of years and I kept it because it was previously my most intensely yellow fleshed uh, clone, but I'm going to drop it because A, it's very low dormancy and B, it demonstrates this strong propensity towards hollow heart, which you can see here. And since it doesn't even make very large potatoes, relatively speaking, and it gets hollow heart this bad, like this, this is, I'm dumping this potato. I don't need it anymore. Um, so this is the Chaucha Amarilla Larga. It's not bad. It's much more yellow, honestly, than the Yukon Gold. Um, and it is a little challenging sometimes to get, you can see, there, they're out of the, they're not getting any glare, and you can see it's much more yellow. So this is still a very yellow clone. It's just not as yellow as like this guy, you know, which is practically orange. Um, but, sorry, framing. Um, and then here is a Criollo Rosada, which is very pale. This one actually might be as pale or paler than the Yukon Gold. Yeah, the Yukon Gold is actually beating it. So you can, even with these yellow flesh diploids, you can get white flesh. And this one's really nice. It's got uh, the blue ring, but I'm pretty sure that's going to disappear. Uh, I'm pretty sure it disappeared the last time I did this exact same footage. This one is probably my most yellow flesh diploid this year, um, but the tubers are really weird. I'm probably just going to keep a couple and regrow just a couple seed tubers of this. Um, round burgundy and then another nice yellow flesh round burgundy this one's pretty pretty nice the tubers are really deep eyes but I actually like this one I'm gonna keep this one too okay so I managed to get the angle where I'm not getting too much glare off of any of the cut surfaces so you can get kind of a good comparison here so just revel in this moment I think we're comparing apples to apples without too much uh, light interference. So let me just cook these up and then we will um, come back. All right, we're back and we have cooked them and you can kind of get a sense of the cooked color. So this is the one that had the round burgundy that had the purple vascular ring which has pretty much disappeared and the blackness of the tuber has reduced you know but those red pigments are 
water soluble so they tend to you know diffuse into you know the cooking water although I was steaming these or into the flesh of the potato uh, a lot of times so so I find cooking these diploids tends to intensify the yellowness in a way um, so let's talk about the nutritional uh, qualities of the yellow potatoes potatoes are extremely low in pro vitamin a carotenoids like most most tested potatoes don't even register as having any so the primary yellow pigments uh, carotenoid pigments in yellow potatoes and the ones that you're seeing here the are lutein which and uh, viola xanthin J just besides being you know strong antioxidants they are also considered very beneficial uh, carotenoids for your eyes particularly for like the prevention of uh, retinal damage it's good to have a lot of lutein and viola xanthin uh, in your diet because they are protective against you know eye damage your your body concentrates them in your retina to protect your retina from damage uh, from uh, blue light and uh, ultraviolet light uh, so it's also it's a preventative against things like macular degeneration but anyway I mean despite the fact that these are not uh, uh, pro vitamin A carotenoids they are very very good for you and so it's um, I'm really excited about having you know bright yellow flesh potatoes in my diet so I hope that was useful for everyone um, you can see me digging most of these potatoes in uh, my most recent uh, potato reveal video and uh, yeah thank you very much for watching